Hey, shalom, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. I thank you again for joining me today. Well, today I want to talk about the four rivers of Eden. I want to read it to you and I want to break some things down for this little lesson. And um, if you have a Bible handy, please get it out and turn to uh, Genesis chapter 2. Uh, I'm going to read read these rivers to you before I get down into my notes. But uh, right here, it'd be uh, Genesis chapter 2. I'm going to go to uh, uh, 10 to 14, verses 10 to 14. Starting out here, and the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from it went thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first was Pison, uh, that is it which encompasseth the whole land of Hivala, where there is gold, and the gold of that land is good. There is Bedlam in the ox, ox, ox stone. And the name of the second river is Gion. The same is, is it that encompasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name and the name of the third river is Hidelical, Diadelical, that is uh, which uh, that is in which goeth toward the east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. So, when you think about Ethiopia these days, you think about the little country in Africa. Well, Ethiopia, oh, Ethiopia, of course, that is a country today, but Ethiopia uh, is more of a, a people, a race thing, a people thing, not exactly the location. Uh, but uh, anyways, I'm going to break some of this down to you right here. And... Uh, Anyways, let's start with uh, uh, the first the first river, uh, Pison. Uh, you can look this up in uh, a Strong's Concordance, number uh, uh, 6376, and it means uh, it's dispersive. Dispersive is what it means. And I looked that up in, uh, in a dictionary. It says to cause or break up and and go on different ways to spread widely, to drive and clear away, move in different directions, scatter. And as from the new Britannica Webster Dictionary and Reference Guide, uh, now we go to the second one, which is Gion. And of course, Gion, also there was the Gion Springs around the, right around the temple in Jerusalem. And the Gion Springs, it's, uh, you can look that up in uh, Strong's, number 1521 and uh it's a river it's a river of paradise a wall and that means paradise means a walled a walled garden that's basically what that means and uh and the four rivers actually met in the center of the garden uh they called Gion emptied into the persian gulf so the Gion one was the one that emptied in the persian gulf and I looked up the third one here. The third one here says, Ideco, Ide, Ideco. Uh, and I looked that up in Strong's, it's 2313. And that's basically another name for the Tigris River. And of course, you know, the, we know the Tigris River over by Mesopotamia. And that brings us to the last one, the Euphrates and the Tigris. They're right there. And in between them is the land between the two rivers, which is a uh, Mesopotamia, but the Euphrates, if you uh, look that up in Strong's number uh, 6578, it means break forth and rushing. So you had four, four, four rivers there. And what's interesting, we know where the, we know where the Euphrates and the Tigris are even today uh, on maps, whatever. The other one's uh, kind of questionable, but thanks, thanks to satellite imagery, we could find uh, find uh, ancient rivers and river streams, canals. We could find them, and uh, not only that, when it comes to the Tigris and Euphrates, we could look at. Uh, we could also look at the direction that they once went in back in ancient days, ancient times. We could we could check that out and see that for ourselves. And scientists and scholars and uh, uh, 
theologians, everybody are taking advantage of that technology and, and looking it up for themselves. And, uh, sure enough, right around, right around the area, that's where, uh, Eden was once where Adam and Eve were at, you know, you had the, you had the garden of Eden and then you had the land of Eden. You had the garden of Eden within the land of Eden. These are, these are two different things. It's kind of like, kind of like, you know, you'd have a state like New York is in the United States of America. So Garden of Eden was within the land of Eden, and and uh, then over to east was uh, the land of Nod. But uh, a lot, a lot of a lot of people get that confused when it comes to the land of Eden and Garden of Eden. But I wanted to throw that out too. But uh, these are the four the four rivers, and uh, archaeologists and stuff have been searching for centuries for uh, at least these two these two rivers and uh thanks god thank god for this, uh satellite imagery and the technology we have we're getting a close look at what's going on and where where they were perhaps and where they ran and the connection and everything like that but uh anyways that's all i wanted to say about that and uh i thank you again for joining me and uh anyways let me know what you think about about this uh the, the four rivers uh you know uh Besides the scriptures, uh, there's ancient writings that talk about it, and uh, I believe it's also the, the the Taj Mahal. I believe I think they have four inside. They have four water canals or something, and they call them by these names, and that's kind of fascinating too. But, anyways, uh, yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think about this or what your take is on on these uh, ancient rivers uh of importance and also subscribe and hit that notification bell give me a big thumbs up while you're at it too and uh, i thank you again for joining me hey until we meet again peace out and shalom